All right, we have a new chapter of One Piece. Where can I even begin to start? <laughs> where, where, where do I begin to summarize what the hell is going on here? They're on Onigashima. The raid has begun. In typical One Piece fashion, these kind of final battle things are extremely multifaceted with lots of teams running all over the place. So many powerful characters lurking in the near same physical proximity. Chaos, endless chaos. Um, I'm hoping, though, that things will kind of settle down and we're going to get some nice one-on-one -on -one fights. So many characters I'd like to see their full potential, what kind of techniques they have, what kind of choreography they fight with. Um, so I hope that at some point the chaos kind of dies down. It would be a fool's errand to try to enumerate the forces on each side. Um, dozens and dozens of major characters, each of which could have full-on fight scenes with Tons of power level ambiguity, which always gets me excited. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's just plunge ahead. Like, I have no idea what they're going to choose to depict in this one. So um, if I try to summarize what's been happening, it could just be irrelevant. Uh, this one is called My Name, our little beige family adventure. <laughs> Look at how cute his ship is now. <laughs> this is the Fire Tank Pirates, the Mafioso Pirates have this adorable flag that looks like it's been drawn by the baby. <laughs> I love family! And even though it says they love family, they're abandoning! Lola and Shifan's father is crying out to them! Poor babies. They don't know their daddy. Okay. So, we now return to some forces we haven't seen much of. The samurai that went around in the back. They defeated Kanjiro. Thinking back to happy, happy times. A long time away now. The Ayakusa samurai, what remains of them, heading into the walls. This was like the super secret strike force, you know? These were the ones that they wanted to get in deepest without losing too many in casualties. It's, a, it's kind of a, div, uh, a, a difference between other One Piece arcs where it's usually the Luffy, you know, getting in deep and fighting the, the big bad guy. Luffy is now, as makes much more sense for him to be the distraction, <laughs> running amok in the main hall. Hmm. Everyone crying. I know it's been hard for you all. So, so we've chosen to make your last stand. So too many chances for a glorious and meaningful death. Sure, sure. So, right. Uh, friggin' Kaido is like, Wayno is kind of over. You guys can all just fold in to become part of the Animal Kingdom pirates. And we're going to, you know, try to rampage and take over the world. Or, you know, you can remain loyal to Wayno. Uh, which is not really a place anymore in Kaido's book, and uh, Kaido's going to wipe you all out. This was Kaido's plan for the Fire Festival before any of this Straw Hat Samurai Resurrection stuff happened. Um, so he's just kind of going ahead as planned, you know, not really paying too much concern to the fact that intruders have been spotted on the island, which makes sense. Like, he thinks of himself as omnipotent. Like, it doesn't really matter. He's got to take care of this business first. Familiar with the great loyalty of Samurai, you choose to fight us and die, I give you my praise. So the Oniwa Banchu, the ninja force of Ueno, has sweared fealty to Kaido, sure, sure. Uh, this other Samurai pirate, Samurai captain, sorry, whatever has decided to pledge loyalty for all the samurai. I don't know if all the ninja and all the samurai are necessarily going to go along with us, but that's the, the climate of the room, at least. The ninja are so relieved. They did not want to get killed by Kaido. It's samurai and the Animal Kingdom Pirates kind of palling around now. Kilgoro getting pissed off, but he's supposed to be undercover, you know? There's still samurai that are loyal to Ueno. They were here to fight Kaido from day one. So, meanwhile, I love this, that uh, Big Mom is back in this arc, and she's having another big festivity, insoling tons of random garbage all over the place. But now she's making, like, uh, you know, like traditional Japanese ghosts and stuff. Like, she's making kaiju, like, 
no, not kaiju. You know, what are those things called? Traditional Japanese ghosts. The, the tools that are used for 100 years and then come alive, like the moving uh, umbrellas with the big eyeball and stuff. Just the fact that they can take Big Bomb's power, recontextualize it. Oh my god, why is the page thing not updating again? This is driving me crazy. There we go. Page 7. And it still says page 7. This is... I'm, I'm losing it. I'm losing it, though. Okay, page 7. Page... Mm. I guess I'll just say, oh, I'm going to the next page. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Why is this happening? Every chapter I've read today, it, it works at the start. I think it's working. I test it. I go ahead. I'm not paying attention to it because, you know, I'm reading manga. And then it stops working. Oh my god. Page 7. I don't get it. Okay, whatever. I'm sorry. You'll just have to... Yeah, I'll just say when I'm changing pages. Oh, it's so dumb. Okay, I'm going to fix this. Before we read any other manga, I'm going to fix this. Okay. So, yeah. What was I saying? Just the fact that they can recontextualize Big Mom's power in Wano and have, you know, all of these traditional Japanese memes that still fit in with her, like, original aesthetic, that kind of, like, gruesome playfulness, that both childlikeness and horrifyingness, um, is really, really impressive. And it's like the same power, right? Like, it just makes sense. <laughs> um, but they wrote it so that they could take advantage of that just making sense. Yeah, it's very fun. But they captured Nami and Carrot. Is that the name of the rabbit? <laughs> Carrot, I think. Uh, I think Shin Roshi would change nothing. 20 years ago, the true enemy was Kaido. Wano has neither a shogun to lead it nor samurai to serve him. The flower capital are carrying on with their festival, unaware that this is their final night of freedom before Wano, in its entirety, is enslaved by Kaido. Before there was that complicated caste system, but no more pretenses. You're either in Kaido's crew or you're Kaido's servant. All right, moving on to page eight. You wouldn't know it, but we're on page eight. Uh, this nagging doubt in my mind. How could a little coward like you possibly be the son of Kozuki Odin? Execution is meant to bring an end to the old way now. But now that I think back upon that day 20 years ago in the Burning Castle, I may not answer my question. If you are not the son of Kozuki Odin in Toki, then I'll call off this execution and offer a full apology for the confusion. I ask you one more time, boy. What is your name? This is interesting. We see slices sometimes of the fairness of Kaido. Um, rather that he, he wants to do things with purpose, and he doesn't like making these erroneous, purposeless gestures. The idea of executing this little baby in grand style when in fact it's just some random kid who has nothing to do with Odin wouldn't sit well with him. So Kaido's giving him a chance to explain yourself. He's a little bit of a softy at heart, I guess. <laughs> no, 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 I think it's more what I was saying, that he, he, he needs it to have the symbolic significance. Okay. But, of course... He's going to say, my name is Momonosuke Odin. One little white lion the kid gets to live. What a funny name, kid. Boy, he's the real one. Yeah, so they really were doubtful. Here we see Kaido's son. This character is really interesting to me, by the way. Um, you know, this sort of thing interests me personally. Um, that it seems like this, this character, everyone is being very respectful of their gender identity. That... He wants to be treated like the son of Kaido. He wants to be the resurrection of Kozuki Odin. He wants to be treated as a man. And everyone seems to be respecting that. Like, Kaido is saying, where is my son? Where is my son? Not where is my daughter, but where is my son? So I don't know if this is like a translation thing, but in Japanese, I know you call your daughter Musume and stuff, right? Like, there's words to refer to daughter and son. It's not an ambiguous thing necessarily. So I think this is just, you know, nice. Anyways, um... Take these off. 
Luffy with his newfound power of hacky handcuff destroying <laughs> one of the main <laughs> forms of hacky. You got your armament hacky, you got your your sensing hockey, you got your emperor's hockey, which causes people to pass out, and then you have the handcuff destroying hockey, <laughs> which Raleigh demonstrated way, way back in, in Sabo the Archipelago. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding, of course. I know that it's just armament hockey, but it's funny. <laughs> okay, we're on the next page, by the way. Uh, some of the main performers, what are they called? The headliners? Uh, What's her face there? Headbutt girl, page one sister, whose name eludes me. The robot running around. And now we're gonna kill Momo. Trust in the toughness of the general Frankie's exterior. Okay. So they've noticed the intruders coming in in the north, but our badass Kappa. Oh, he's so cool. Cutting them down. We're going to the next page. So annoying. Why isn't it working? Meanwhile, the worst generation representatives just wreaking havoc wherever they can. A lot going on. Momo taking all of this in from the Executioner's Perch. Not unlike Ace. Not unlike Luffy. Not unlike uh, Gold D. Roger himself. In these, what could be your last moments, taking in chaos all around you. Momo is a name that means second to none. My name is Kozuki Momosuke, a man who will be the Shogun of Ueno. Nice, nice. We're on the next page, by the way. We're on page 12 now. I'm sorry. I'll figure this out. Everyone bursts out laughing. I'm going to be a man worthy of facing you in the afterlife. I wish I'd have seen you again. Don't want to cry, die. I don't want to cry. Shameful for a warrior to cry in front of others. So Momo should just be executed right here. I don't know how they could stop him. Stop Kaido from just smashing him with that club. Kaido's pissed off, too. He thought this could be an easy out. He doesn't really like annihilating children with a giant club, I suppose. Okay, page 13. Oh, a big explosion! I can no longer think of him as a father. Yeah, so the handcuffs really did explode. <laughs> um, and Kaido really was willing to kill his son. But now, Yamo renounces Kaido as a father. I, I think he had already done that, but whatever. It's Yamato. <laughs> Just in time. We're not the ones who start this battle. Ah, slashing in from behind. Akazaya Samurai. They're here to kill Orochi. Just kidding! <laughs> Orochi's already dead. But Kaido, of course, all along, the real enemy. The headliners freaking out. The Mink Kings are alive even after Jack the Plague decimated Zo. Oh yeah, you guys are in for a big surprise. We're going on to page 15 now. The battle begins. Izo shooting the sword out of King's hand. Everyone at the ready. The Cat Viper smacking away Kaido's club. These mofos are strong. Like, all of the strongest characters are right now, like, facing each other, basically. Or rather, maybe not the strongest this, this of them all on the hero side, but all the strongest villains are going up against the full force of the uh, Azakaya Samurai. Surrender your name and be as a child. Put your life into this attack. Swords can do nothing to me. He sees Odin for a second. Everyone grabs their swords. They plunge into Kaido, falling off the balcony. Everyone attacking all at once. Will it be enough? I highly doubt it. We're just getting started. I'm sure there's going to be at least 14 more pages, or 14 more chapters of Onigashima Raid Island. Because I still think chapter 1000 is when something truly colossal will happen in the course of this battle. Okay, that's the end of the chapter. I'm sorry the page update thing wasn't working. It's been giving me trouble all day. So we'll figure that out by the time we read more Shonen Jump stuff. Um, but yeah, 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Please look forward to next week uh, when we get to read a new chapter together. How exciting. Okay, that's all for now. Bye-bye.